uh, we have a lot of onions that I need to cook so I am harvesting some thyme for the French onion soup here's the thyme this is our herb garden so here is the thyme there's still one nectar in here cute <laughs> Here, I'm here to harvest thyme for the uh, for the onion soup. This is just like for garnish, so I don't need a lot. This should be good. Fine. Smells so good. These are the thyme that I harvested from the garden. Look at that. Very fragrant. We have some uh, onions here that I don't want to go to waste. So I am making a French onion soup with sherry wine, uh, leftover red wine, and then um, baguette. I have some baguette here and then cheese. Cheese is still in the fridge. So I'm going to slice this onion first. I'm going to add the onions that I have harvested from the garden too. These are from the garden. While we're here, let's harvest this um this onion. I think they're ready. This one I or this one. I think these are ready. I don't want to oh look at this. So this I think we need to dry them first. Yeah, I think we need to. Hmm. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Look at that. Let's get one more. This one. this one too maybe i'll pickle this look at this and then i'll save the rest and i think this one is ready too right and more over there This one too. Oops. And then the onions. These ones are like this big one. These are store bought. I have to do this fast because this onion makes me cry. Sorry, TV is really loud. Oh, I forgot I need beef broth too. 
also beef broth and then red wine and then sherry wine. These are like the ones that we grow from the garden. They are like a sweet Texas onion. I'll try. These are homegrown onion. Oh, oh it's so sweet. No, I don't want to cook the other one. I'll just eat this. Like probably pickle it. So I just need um butter and olive oil, and then I'll just caramelize the onion. to add the onion. and then I need a pureed garlic too so I just I just need to cut this in half and then I uh, cook it in the oven like that I'm not sure not good anymore let's remove that I just cook this on uh, in the oven at 350 degree preheated oven until it is like sort of like really soft so let's get the beef broth so I'm using this uh, beef broth the onions are changing color now look it's starting to like caramelize or like to turn like brown I forgot that I need to make uh, I need to make bouquet garni too so I'll, I'm back here in the herb garden to harvest some um, laurel bay leaves or laurel leaves and then rosemary and then I think that's it more time no I think the time is, is uh, maybe more time so this is the um, Oh, the dogs are very loud. <laughs> this is the uh, laurel plant. And now I'm going to make a uh, bouquet garni. So I need that and then um, I'll use this. So this is like uh, bay, leaf. bay leaves. I'm using bay leaves and then oh baby, I dropped the other one. I, I picked two, <laughs> now I only have one. Rosemary and then thyme. just tie them together there you go now I need to deglaze it with half a cup of sherry wine and then half a cup red wine. Red wine is from, from uh, Tablas Creek. This is the Speedy Tablas. This is just like a leftover red wine. And then half a cup red wine. And then wait until the um, liquid evaporates. And then I'm going to add the uh, beef broth. I transferred it here on the Dutch oven because it won't fit on the other pot that I used earlier. So the garlic is ready too. I just re need to remove the, um, the skin. It's not hot anymore. The other one is very hot. The tray is very hot. The garlic is not that hot.
French onion soup like sounds easy to me. Oh my god, it's still hot. <laughs> I always keep on touching the tray. Uh, French onion soup sounds very easy to make, but it's it's really not easy. <laughs> it's a little like there's a lot of like steps. But it tastes so good. Um, a, like perfect on a cold winter night, but it's like summer right now. And it's okay, it's cold inside the house, so. Still okay to have French onion soup. Most of the liquid is gone, so. Now I'm going to add the uh, broth. I'm using like beef broth, organic beef broth. And then this bouquet garni that I made earlier. Here's the garlic now, I just need to add this here. So this is a very, very flavorful like soup. Let's prepare the bread. Adding a little bit of salt or salt. I need the bowl, a soup bowl. I love these like colorful bowls. But I'm using a uh, white for the onion soup, like this, like white soup bowl. And oh my, I'm short. <laughs> I need a. Now I need to broil the soup to melt the cheese. Of the um, okay, Bernie. I don't need this anymore. I just fill all these bowls with the soup. And let's put bread. A bit too bread. Let's put too bread. Oops. And then the cheese. I'm using provolone. I'm not sure if this is pronounced provolone or provolone. Maybe Italians pronounce this as provolone. So cheese on top. Let me put two cheese. And cheese here. And then I need to broil the cheese here. There you go. I have a problem. <laughs> the tray doesn't fit on the oven, so I need to move it on another tray. With the broil, when you put it like lengthwise, like kind of like this, it doesn't fit. It doesn't close the oven, so I have to put it here. And here's our onion soup. It's hot. I need this to move to here. Very hot. Look at the cheese, the gooey gooey cheese. The cheesy gooey gooey. <laughs> Now I need to garnish this with thyme. The thyme that I picked from the garden. 
there you go to make it pretty and small and smell good so there is our french onion soup here's our french onion soup garnished with thyme from the backyard garden thank you so much for watching if you like this video please click on the thumbs up button and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one bye for now yummy yummy